Hello and welcome back to SAP Plant Maintenance. This is Farooq from Cube ERP. In this session, we will be looking at master data again. Uh, this time, the master data that we are going to create is function location. So, the menu path for this one is given here logistics, plant maintenance, management of technical objects, function location, and create. Or we can go directly to the transaction code IL01. So, let's go there. In the so we go to the transaction code directly IL01. So once we are in IL01, we need to give. So we have something called a mask. So this is basically a sort of a hierarchy that we are saying where our functional location is created. So if my plant is 2840, then I can say maybe in that is the in production area I have a plant maintenance area which is again 0 2 so this is some sort of a hierarchy that you can have so this is coming from something called string indicator string indicator is defines what sort of hierarchy structure you can have so you can see that in the system the people have created a number of different hierarchy structures so this is basically configuration and you can go into configuration and then see how it is being done or we can just go what we can do is we can do a f1 on this one on this uh, field of string indicator so this gives us help sap help in sap help we click this indicator which is this icon which is called customizing and we say continue without specifying project So once uh, this will take us directly to SPRO and to the node directly where this configuration is done. So this is now brought us directly to the node in SPRO which is responsible or where this configuration is done. So you can see this is SPRO. In SPRO this is plant maintenance. In plant maintenance we have got technical objects. Under technical objects we got function location. And then we've got create structure indicator for reference location or function location. So if you click this one, and you can see here these are the entries which have been created. We can just go here and create a new entry. So at the moment I'm not going to do that. I'm just going back to my transaction to create a function location. So I'm back here. Uh, also you can do is if you have a function location which you want to copy, you can just keep the number here and then it will most more or less copy more of the most of the fields so function location area 2 object type let's see what sort of objects we have got here so the different objects that are there are like mobile equipment this is again a config you can create anything that you need or anything that is your in your plant so what I will take something more generic so let's see let me see what I've got here previously Yeah, so I'll just take 511. In addition that uh, if you got authorization group like who is authorized, then weight, if it is equipment, size, dimension, manufacturer. So if you're creating an equipment also as a function location, then you can give the data of manufacturer, model number, serial number, etc. etc. So this is a maintenance plant, so I'm using now 2840, so that's what I'm going to give this plant. Organization, business area is 1000 for this one. Uh, maintenance, I am going to use uh, lathe machine. work center is uh, sorry 
to make the plant is 2840 and uh, structure uh, we don't have anything in the structure so basically this is the detail of how you're going to create it uh, let me just take it out here organization structure so if in the structure I mean if you have got some equipment that you want to directly assign or you can do is vice versa also once you create an equipment you can assign this uh, the functional location over there okay so that's about it so we have uh, once I save this one we will have a functional location created so the functional location has been created so that's about it I mean I will uh, close my session here for functional location and in the next session we will create an equipment and the equipment task list Thank you.